I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And when we get questions or someone shares with us, um, and if they're a man and their wife has moved on, it's so difficult for us because in all these years, we have never found a way to bring a wife back. So this particular uh, comment, my wife kicked me out of the house, may fall into that particular problem. And we don't know how you can save your marriage when that happens. However, and for those people, and there's other videos along those lines, we tell the man, look, you go back and look at the errors. Don't dwell on them. Don't feel guilty. But use these realities, these acknowledgments to change yourself. Learn from your past mistakes. But don't get sucked into discouragement because as painful as it is now, you still have your entire life in front of you. And you don't want to go through your life moping about or struggling with, I should have done this, I could have done that. Okay? So look at our other videos. You definitely should subscribe to this channel anyway so you could learn about marriage. You should definitely go to our website, themarriagefoundation.org. Start listening to the podcasts that come out. Get some of the products. Get one of the books. Uh, you could even take the course for men. It will really change your life, especially if you, if you have children, you need this. Now, there's other men who get regularly kicked out of their house. I mean, it's true. It happens. And then a couple days later, you know, after some pleading and flowers and, you know, throwing yourself at her feet, she says, okay, I'll forgive you, but you have to blah, blah, blah. That's like chronic insanity to me. But if that's happening, you have a better chance of not just saving your marriage, but turning it around. So if that's what's happening to you, don't just go in and say, I'm sorry, I should have, I could have. Take a look at the fact that you are being controlled by habits by instinctive emotions. Your reactions are the same because your thinking isn't going to change unless you do something proactively to change your thinking. If that's the case, you need our course for men. Changing your thinking, it's hard work. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not easy. It takes time. It takes effort. If you're using pot or alcohol, it's going to be almost impossible, so you got to get rid of those substances. But you could change your life into joy. As human beings, we're supposed to be walking around in joy. It's true, because we're souls. We have bodies and minds, but we're souls. Souls are joy themselves and love. So it's not, your marriage is not over if this is a recurring problem. And you should definitely put your energy into changing yourself. So go to the Marriage Foundation, get the course for men and work on yourself. Just, you got to do it sometime anyway. So now's a good time. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope it wasn't too discouraging if you're one of those who just got kicked out and, and basically it's over. Um, I'm sorry if that happened. I, I do sympathize. Blessings to you and take care.